If you want to play the I Need Feminism drinking game, then by all means, do so. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you guys a YouTuber that makes me want to destroy everything that is colored pink. I'm Ellie and this is a short video on why men need feminism. Holy hell, look at the amount of pink that she's wearing. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's not that bad. But just take a look at this video. I'm Ellie, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 items of clothing in my pink wardrobe. I know this may be your YouTube personality, but holy hell, your obsession with the color pink is disturbing! What you're wearing is giving me fucking nightmares! Even my sister would think your obsession with the color pink is unhealthy! And the worst part is that sometimes she wears pink clothing, but not in a way like you! And here I thought this YouTuber obsession with the color pink is unhealthy! I'm wearing pink. Which you know my glasses are pink. There's pink on my earrings. My pants are pink. Because I'm a girl, right? So I have to wear pink. I have to join the pink train because that's where all the women are. Choo choo. Here come the women. Oh, oh, I love the color black. My hat's black. My shirt's black. Even my pants are black. I love the color black. I've never met a YouTuber who's obsessed with a certain color. Just one particular color. And that to me seems to be more one dimensional than anything. Just, I mean, wow. I've seen people having an obsession with video games, but I can at least understand why they are obsessed with it. You know, I, I, I see people having large collections of fucking DVDs. I mean, look, 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 just look, 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 look. I have DVDs, DVDs right here. That's, that's not even half of it. It's not even half. This shit doesn't even belong to me. It belongs to my father. But, you know, at least, you know, I can understand. But a color... A fucking color that is disturbing. Look at my face. This, this is the face of someone who's completely fucking disturbed. Feminism works for all genders, from gender oppression, from ideas of masculinity and femininity. Because, you know, masculinity and femininity is a social construct. We created this stuff! The patriarchy rests on the concept of men being masculine, aggressive, strong. This, of course, doesn't benefit all men. It benefits the select few who are in power and are strong. But the stereotypes remain. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! Since we're brought up believing in the concept of masculinity and of femininity being the opposite to it, we don't question it. I wonder if it has to do anything with the fact that humans are a sexually dimorphic species and men are born with more masculine traits while females are born with more feminine traits. It's almost as if it's part of human nature. But it hurts every gender in that men aren't socially allowed to be weak. How many men who aren't living up to the stereotypes of being strong and aggressive are ridiculed for it. Where the fuck do you get this idea? Oh wait! You're a feminist! You'll believe anything that comes out whatever is in the higher position of the feminist scale! Men who sometimes act feminine, at times may be fun, me fun of, but this applies to everyone! We're not seeing posters or ads that make me or any man feeling ashamed for not being manly enough. Now, if you were living in a third world country, for example, India, you could be killed simply for being feminine. 
Like I stated before, I had a gay friend who likes to cross-dress in India, and he told me how being gay there could get him killed. And from what I heard, transsexuals get it a lot worse. Here in America, why the fuck do you see this pressure where men need to be men and women need to be women? Of course it hurts women as well due to the people who have been, who have had the aggressive stereotypes so drilled into them that they are aggressive. My guess is, if this didn't affect women at all, you would stay silent about it. You only fight for men's rights if it helps women. Otherwise, there's no reason for you to get up your ass and actually help people. What about issues like how men are still forced to sign up for selective service, or the amount of court bias towards men? Men need to still pay for child support, and men can't get out of parenthood, but women can. When are you going to get off your high and mighty ass just for you to do something that actually helps men? You know, instead of saying things like how, how men can express their feelings and they need to be more like women! Feminism for men works to break gender roles. Gender roles aren't just the strong male and the weak dependent female. They're also what fuels our expectations in life. For example, men are often led to expect a good job and financial stability. Women aren't led to expect this quite so much. And why do you think that is? It's simple, because men are more likely to work more hours than women, Women tend to pick jobs that are safer, and let's not forget that when a woman gets pregnant, she has a good chance of quitting her job, or t at least taking a few months off. So of course men are expected to be the breadwinners because of their bodies and the choices they make. Due to the dependent part of the gender roles. The issue with expecting financial stability is that it's not often that likely. In an economy such as now, it's even less. So for many people, many of whom are men, it kind of leads to a breaking point. Aside from fixing the economy and making sure that these expectations can actually be fulfilled, we could also stop the expectations from being there. Not because you're not allowed to have goals and dreams, but because gendered expectations shouldn't be thrust onto anybody. Yep, that, that's the only thing we need to work on, and not things like on how men make up 60 to 80% of the homeless, but there's only like 10% of homeless shelters for men. Gender's expectations is evil. Right, I've got a fun quote from Laurie Penny's Unspeakable Things saying, Part of the project of feminism is to free men as well as women from oppressive stereotypes. To call a man an animal is to flatter him. He's a machine, a walking dildo. Rape is nothing more or less than a conscious process of intimidation by which all men keep all women in a state of fear. I feel that man-hating is an honorable and viable political act, that the oppressed have a right to class hatred against the class that is oppressing them. If feminism is truly helping men, we should see more feminists speaking out against things like forced male circumcision that is not used for medical purposes, or again the court bias towards men. But that's not your main concern for men. Your main concern for men is how their men are being forced to be masculine and overly violent. And because men are being forced to these boxes, it hurts women. And therefore, if it hurts women, then guess what? You are fighting for men's rights, even though you're just doing this because it hurts women. So don't really say that you actually care about these issues, what men face, because like I stated before, we would see more action done by feminists. And we would not see feminists protesting against the MRAs, which, of course, to you feminists, they're all just a fedora wearing scumbags that hate women even though they have women in their group and their most popular members in the MRA is a woman named Karen. Only some young men, of course. Peter is being shed or water cans mustered for the crises in masculinity that may or may not be occurring on private yachts and in the dormitories of elite boarding schools. Feminism works for the working man. No, it's not. The MRAs are doing a better job at it than you fucking feminists ever will. And I'm not even an MRA, but just like, oh shit, Brit, every form of constructive criticism is from a MRA. And MRAs are even for the worst wearing scums that only cares about having sex with women. You feminists create ideas like how we need to teach boys not to rape, which you have no idea the negative effects on both men and women. This implies that men are rapists by default, and women should be afraid of men because they are rapists by default! 